for example everyone's like do this do that work really hard this and that like I think you've got to cater to who you are and like first off you need to like kind of realize who you are what you are and what you want and that can be really fucking hard but like if you boil it down to these five like personality traits like conscientiousness are you conscientious like are you hard working do you, do you want to work like 10 12 hour days like is that fine for you do you enjoy that or are you someone who wants to do like three hours a day like um and not work too much um that's the definition for conscientiousness roughly okay don't take my word for all of this go look it up yourself um openness how open are you to new ideas um openness is also linked to like creativity if you're high in openness you're most likely creative and also you have higher iq um that's been associated um like for example if you've done something a certain way for a while and someone comes up to you and is like hey have you tried this way are you open to that new idea or like, are you open to being wrong are you open to like something else um yeah so that's the openness and then you have agreeableness okay so that's like how agreeable you are okay so god i've i'm sorry i hope i don't dip off i'm very hungry and it suddenly just hit me but i will i will i will uh, try and stay focused um but agreeableness you know that is how agreeable you are like and I, and i don't think it's so much like do you agree with people's opinions i think it's more like if someone is talking and you think what they're saying is complete bullshit do you say it's bullshit or do you just be like oh wow that's cool that's really nice like as far as i'm aware that's kind of agreeableness and disagreeableness you know <laughs> like agreeable people have to be in a relationship they're kind of like oh yeah blah 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 they don't have a strong they have the i believe they have strong opinions still but they maybe don't express them as much um like people still have an opinion about everything you know but you know more disagreeable people like they're not as worried about like upsetting people maybe i don't know it's like yeah it's roughly that um so i've done conscientiousness agreeableness openness extroversion and neuroticism okay they're quite easy to do extroversion um basically do you like enjoy being around people like do you does it make you happier like are you very chatty are you the loudest person in the room like um you know or you prefer space yourself to prefer being by yourself like so i'm i think i'm extroverted like not because i think i'm like good with people or popular i don't at all i think i'm pretty awkward when i chat to people but i am um, i need people you know i enjoy it i need it like i i can't be in the house by myself because i get depressed and sad i need someone to bounce off and my girlfriend's a bit more introverted so that's uh, but she's loved by everyone so but i think it's more like how you recharge people have said that before and neuroticism <clears throat> so neuroticism is kind of how it's a measurement of how much negative emotion you experience from an incident now like let's say something goes wrong at work a more neurotic person will be like oh my god this is really bad blah 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 and then a less neurotic person will be like, oh, it's fine. We can have, you know, I, it's kind of like that, how much negative emotion you feel. So, yeah. So I guess people who aren't neurotic, neurotic people probably, I guess, aren't as positive, a bit more negative, like experience more negative emotion. Um, and yeah, those are the big five personality traits. And I guess you, it, though, that's just the definitions of them. You don't have to listen on, but I guess you have to think about how they might affect you. Like you can do a big five personality test for free online. But for example, you know, society is like, oh, do this, do that. No, do what's right for you. And I think it's important to spend time by yourself and also get to know yourself and, you know, do these tests or something. Especially if you like don't know what you're doing in life. Like, are you someone who if someone's like obviously if you're not functioning in society you need to try and push yourself but like if you're if you're like not extroverted at all 
then then don't be going out clubbing don't be hanging out with all these people like if you really hate it you know if you're really conscientious then like maybe you should be doing a hard working job or if you're like really agreeable maybe you shouldn't be in a certain role but, you know like you need to or if you're really open and maybe creative you can't be in a dead end boring job because you'll be miserable um and you know like if you're unhappy maybe check out one of those five things you know like yo am i yeah obviously there's like um things people and don't do and don't like but like you know if i don't know like it's just a it's something to think about in terms of like what people do and don't like and that's like a different thing but yeah those, those are like roughly the big five personality traits